Reaction continues to come in on the death of a Detroit icon, Mike Illich, a man who did so much for the city he loved. Joining us now on the phone is former Michigan Governor Jim Blanchard. Mr. Blanchard, thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. I really want to start off with your thoughts on the kind of impact Mr. Illich had, not only on Detroit, of course, we know he did so much to revitalize this city at a time, especially when not a lot of people or businesses were coming to the city. How do you think that translated into helping the state as a whole? Well, I really think he anchored uh, the development in the city at a time when it was desperately needed, and nobody was really investing there. And, of course, Detroit area and Michigan is a big sports uh, state, sports town, and his focus on entertainment and sports was absolutely critical to the resurgence of the whole region. And he isn't just well-known in Detroit or Michigan, but actually in the world of baseball and hockey. I mean, when I served as ambassador to Canada, Mike Illich, Everyone knew who Mike Illich was, and of course, the Red Wings were one of the iconic and still are one of the iconic teams. Of course, and of course, you became governor not long after Mr. Illich bought the Red Wings. How closely did you work with him, and what was that like? I didn't work closely with him, um, but I did get to know him, and it was really interesting. First of all, you can't talk about Mike Illich without talking about Marion Illich. These people were the hardest working people that I knew. And they are an American success story. What I found interesting was in getting to know him that he was somewhat shy, actually. Marion was the outgoing person. And they had a vision which they pursued. You know, the story, here's a, a kid who grows up in Detroit. He plays baseball. He ends up in the minor leagues and, and traveling from town to town. In the off season, he sells aluminum siding for, to make a living. He then finds out about this new invention, pizza, pizza pie. He buys an interest in a pizzeria. His father is so mad at him, he throws him out of his house. And Mike builds his empire. And everywhere he played in these minor league games around the Midwest, in the small towns, he would be sitting out there in the infield looking <clears throat> at people lining up at a Dairy Queen. It was always a Dairy Queen, he said, near the baseball uh, field. He said, gosh, that's where I could put a pizzeria. This guy, had, this is an incredible, this guy had an incredible vision and built this empire and then invested in our city, invested in our city, our state, and our, our beloved team. So what kind of, that's an incredible impact. And for a guy who I, I think had a lot of vision and enormous energy, <clears throat> but there was a shyness about him that most people I don't think understood. Yeah, really an incredible story. So much that he did for our city and so generous with his time and his money and giving back to so many people in need. Former Michigan Governor Jim Blanchard, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.